Bill O'Reilly here, Thursday, October 24th, 2019. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening across our nation. Seven in ten Americans think the USA is heading towards a second civil war. Mayor Pete Buttigieg calls for the legalization of pot. TV's Judge Judy endorses Mike Bloomberg for president. Nearly one-third of America's Jewish community conceal their religion for personal safety. A new study links smartphone usage with consumption of sugar. Also ahead, the message of the day on abuse of power. But first, Americans telling pollsters they believe the USA is on the verge of a second civil war. The Battleground Civic Survey shows 71% of those asked believe an armed confrontation between American citizens is likely in the near future. 87% say rudeness in politics is a major problem in modern America. There is a social civil war underway, but I don't see mass violence happening. Presidential candidate Mayor Buttigieg calling for the legalization of marijuana across the USA. The Democrat toured a cannabis shop in Nevada telling supporters he smoked the substance a, quote, handful of times, but apparently not before the debates. Television star Judge Judy officially endorsing billionaire Mike Bloomberg for president. The judge saying the former New York City mayor is the only way we can begin to come together in 2020. The judge has largely avoided politics throughout her 50-year career. She is the highest paid person on television, earning $47 million per season. About one-third of America's Jewish community intentionally conceal their religious identity over fears of anti-Semitism. The survey conducted by the American Jewish Coalition says 31% avoid publicly wearing Jewish symbols. The Anti-Defamation League says the rate of anti-Semitic attacks has doubled in America since 2015. A new study shows a strong connection between the time an adolescent uses a smartphone and the consumption of caffeine and sugar. According to researchers, the overall intake of energy drinks and sweet beverages by American teenagers is down, except for those who frequently use their personal electronic devices throughout the day. In a moment, abuse of power. Is that a real thing? You've been hearing about gold all over the news. Prices continue to climb. Not surprising. Experts warning a recession could happen. But pay attention to the bank's Some of them ran out of cash last Monday night and had to borrow money from the Federal Reserve. Since last week, more than $500 billion has been printed and given to the banks just so they could stay in business. Sound familiar? Remember in 2008 when the Fed had to bail out the banks? Well, it's happening again. Americans are looking for stability, and many are turning to gold and precious metals as a way to protect their savings and retirements. That's why I recommend that you contact American Hartford Gold Group now to learn more. To get you started, American Hartford Gold Group will gift you a free silver coin. No purchase necessary. All you have to do is call them. 877-444-GOLD-GOLD. That's 877-444-GOLD. So please give them a call today to claim your free coin. Available for a limited time only. 877-444-4653. Time now for the O'Reilly Update. Message of the day, impeaching President Trump by using abuse of power. Some Republicans are worried about the president holding up under the enormous strain he is under. By design, most politicians are afraid of controversy and of the media because of the emotional damage those things can inflict. Despite screaming daily headlines that President Trump did this or did that, there is right now no clear evidence that Mr. Trump did anything impeachable. So House Democrats have gone to the abuse of power playbook. That concept is vague and can be applied to any powerful person. It is easy to say someone abused their authority in a general way. We hear accusations like that all the time. The fact is that 
every American president from George Washington on could have been charged with abuse of power. Here are some examples. The young president, John F. Kennedy, totally botched the invasion of Cuba. That is known as the Bay of Pigs fiasco. In the early part of his administration, Kennedy did not tell Congress or anybody else that the USA had hired mercenaries to try to overthrow Fidel Castro. Castro got wind of the plan, the whole thing was a debacle, and Kennedy was embarrassed. He could have been charged with abuse of power. A few years later, Lyndon Johnson misled the entire country about the Vietnam situation. You may remember President Johnson telling the public that the USA was winning the war, the light at the end of the tunnel. That was not true. We were fighting a stalemate situation in Vietnam, and 56,000 American troops were killed, hundreds of thousands wounded. For that, Lyndon Johnson could have been impeached. Harry Truman could have been impeached for dropping the atom bomb. If you read my book, Killing the Rising Sun, you'll see that President Truman did not confer with Congress or anybody else about the bomb drop on Hiroshima and then later on Nagasaki. He just did it. And hundreds of thousands of civilians in Japan were killed. Franklin Delano Roosevelt could have been impeached for failing to accept refugees from Nazi-occupied territories while they were being exterminated in concentration camps. There have been many books written about FDR's failure to save people who could have been saved. Barack Obama could have been impeached for failing to protect Americans in Libya. That's the Benghazi situation. And finally, Abraham Lincoln could have been impeached for suspending habeas corpus. During the Civil War, the president took away all civil liberties and union authorities could seize homes, properties, arrest you without a trial, all of that. Let me repeat, every president, could have been impeached under the abuse of power banner. And that is the O'Reilly Update message of the day. Please check out my latest book, The United States of Trump, big bestseller. We thank you all. And every evening I do a podcast on BillOReilly.com, which I think you might like. Up next, something you might not know. Forget Russian hackers and elections for a moment, please. This is worse. Cyber thieves are stealing American homes. Guess where your home's legal title and mortgage documents are kept? Online. Wide open. Your signature and everything thieves need to take over ownership of your home is easily available online. Thieves forge your name off the title, then refile the deed so it appears you sold it. Then they go to unscrupulous lenders and borrow money using your home's equity. Then they disappear, and you get stuck with the payments. Banks, insurance, and identity theft programs do not protect you. Home Title Lock does. Home Title Lock puts a virtual firewall around your home's title and mortgage. And they monitor the black market to see if your home is for sale. Your home equity is your retirement, your emergency fund. Let me help protect it with 60 risk-free days of Home Title Lock. So please go to HomeTitleLock.com and enter your address to see if you're already a victim. Defend yourself at HomeTitleLock.com. HomeTitleLock.com. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. It is currently hunting season in many states. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, 100 million Americans participate in, quote, wildlife recreation. And that doesn't mean nightclubs. Hunting, fishing, even bird watching. There are more than 14 million hunters in America, generating $150 billion annually. Big business. America's love affair with hunting goes back to our beginning. Plymouth Colony officially ruled that wild animals in the New World were no longer the property of the crown. All were free to be hunted. That tradition is thriving today, 400 years later. Birds, deer, bears, elk, even alligators are hunted for food and sport. Texas issued more than a million licenses in 2018. Rhode Island handed out the fewest at just 8,000. 
80% of licensed sportsmen go after big game, most popular deer. At an average 150 pounds and running 30 miles per hour, these animals are no easy targets. More than 6 million are harvested every year in all 50 states, even Hawaii. Another favorite, the Roosevelt elk. It's the third largest land mammal in North America. Found in the Pacific Northwest, this elk is named after President Theodore Roosevelt, who established Olympia, who established Olympic National Park back in 1909. Exotic animals are also popular in different parts of the country. Head down to Florida in the Everglades if you're brave enough to take on the Burmese python. Local officials down there actually pay residents to eradicate the invasive species. Florida, not the only state to put a bounty on pests, Louisiana turns to hunters to tackle its nutria problem. That's a giant wet rodent. Six bucks a head if you kill them. Last season, hunters took 220,000 nutria just around the New Orleans area. All in, 100 million animals are killed by hunters in the USA each year. What's not on the menu? Bald eagles, Florida panthers, prairie chickens. Killing one of those protected species can land you in jail for a year. And here's something you might not know. The monarch butterfly is on the list of protected animals. The population of monarchs has dropped 97% in the past three decades. Back after this. Finding a good real estate agent who understands your needs can be incredibly difficult. My friend Glenn Beck started the service realestateagentsitrust.com to make sure you get connected with agents who are ambitious and have a long and successful track record. They're agents who are experts in your town and do business like you with your values. I heard a story of a family whose home had been on the market for more than a year and they were facing a difficult scenario of what to do next. They learned about Real Estate Agents I Trust and after contact, a real estate agent was able to go in, make some changes to the house, and then sold the house within three weeks. This is why I endorse realestateagentsitrust.com. No pinheads, just great agents. I wouldn't hesitate to use Real Estate Agents I Trust if I were going to sell my home. So get moving today with realestateagentsitrust.com. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.